Hi, this is Cindy Dawson, the Multimedia Strategist. This is a command performance video <laughs> requested by students of CD Profit System to see what an interactive CD and or DVD will look like and interact with you like if you use Auto Run Max, which is a program that I recommend in the course. So I'm going to insert the CD and what you're seeing is a CD, but I need to tell you that it has over 14 hours of audio interviews over 400 pages of transcripts, software, an HTML page, and a video, all on one CD. So that's what I'm going to show you now. It's called Our Aging Loved Ones Planning for the Day We Hope Will Never Come. I have my settings set to ask me if I want to auto run a CD when I put it in, especially if it's of this type. So I'll have to click on that link. but. In certain computers or in some computers you won't even have to do this. It'll just automatically run. Okay, I'm not going to say anything after I click this because I want you to hear what's going to happen. Alright, that was the splash screen with startup music and now we're on the welcome page and you'll notice over here each one of these buttons sends you to a different page but you'll notice that they all look alike they just have different text on them. The picture up here in the upper right hand corner has an audio embedded in it and you'll see that it changes to a hand and I explain in the instructions here that if you want to hear an audio of how this CD came to be in the background of why I created it click here and you can actually listen to a little recording of why it came to be. This link is actually to the website for this product and you can click here to visit the website or you can click here to send an email and I'm going to demonstrate that to you in a little bit different on a little bit of a different page. The first page here is the interviews. Now there are 12 interviews in this series so I put six on each page. You'll see down here is embedded an actual Windows Media Player player so you can actually listen to it inside the program. I didn't want this to look like a standard CD. I wanted it to look a little softer because of the market. So if you click on this little blue square kind of like thing, you actually can listen to the interview inside this program. So I'm going to let you listen to a little bit and show you what it's like. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Cindy Dawson. This is the first session of a multi-part series called Our Aging Loved Ones Planning for the Day We Hope Will Never Come. Now that's a sample of the first interview. If you decided you wanted to download the MP3 to your computer and you did not want to have to sit here and listen to it inside the program, you can click on the little butterfly and a save box will open. You can navigate to where you want the file to be and then you can save it. The same thing is true for the interviews 7 through 12 page. It's exactly like the first one, except it's just the different interviews. Then we have the transcripts. We have two pages for the transcripts. This page that has the transcripts on it does the exact same thing. To open the file, you click on the little blue square, and this is going to pull up Adobe Acrobat and open this particular um, resource, open the guide, and you can see this is the guide. You know, this is the transcript of what we actually heard. So I'll close that. Now, if you want to save that to your computer, the same thing is true. You click on the Save little butterfly, and it automatically lets you save it to your computer. There are two pages of transcripts, and there's a little addition down here at the very bottom. This is a full transcript all compiled together. So if the user wanted to download the whole transcript without it being in parts, I combined them together so they could get it all in one form and they wouldn't have to poke through everything. That's convenient if they want to search the entire project for a term that different people might have referred to, such as Alzheimer's or Medicare. Any type of keyword that might have gone between speakers, that's a good, a good, just a little good tip to remember that. I also had a video created called Remember Me, and this is the page with the video on it. Okay, that's a 
sample of the video. Now if you want to, you can actually click here and download the video to your computer. This video is actually available on YouTube and several other places online, so you may have actually seen it before, not realizing that it was part of this package. I also bought the rights to a piece of software that is a desktop organizer that allows people who are working with aging loved ones to be able to keep track of where they are what they have to do, their responsibilities like getting their elder parent or friend or loved one to the doctor, keeping track of appointments, that kind of thing. This is all the same piece of software. All five of these are the same software. They just have different covers. I wanted them to look like what the person would be using on their desktop, so I gave them kind of a variety to choose from of the one they like the best. When you click on this, it automatically installs the software to your computer so I'm not going to do that because I don't want to mess up our recording with something that really would take a lot of resources the last part of this project is a page with all the resources of all the people who have participated in the project you can scroll up and down and see who all the people are the background of this is actually an HTML page that's online and available to be viewed so if you went to the correct page where this was, you could see it, but it's not open to the public. I just created it and put it here so people could actually see the resource of these people who contributed and click on the link to visit their site. Let's just take a look at uh, Joy Laverty here. If we click on her domain name, it's going to take us to her website. If we click on her email address, it'll take us to her email. So let's check this out. This will be Joy's site, as you can see and if we click on email we'll be taken to an email program where we can actually email Joy and ask a question no we don't want to save and basically that's all there is to the CD you've seen everything there is to do video audio web pages interactive things going on so it's just kind of exciting it's interesting to see and I just oh and by the way up here you have a minimize and a maximum and a close button so pretty cool um, anyway that's this particular CD I'm going to show you another one I'm going to pause the video while I take this one out and get another one ready to show you because I want you to see the different kinds of things you can do with different types of video so hang on we'll get to the next one okay I have closed the previous CD and now I'm going to insert a DVD. I actually mentioned this and showed you a picture of this in the CD Profit System course as well. This is called the Ultimate Success Trading Program. Okay, so um, this one's going to be a little bit of a different feel. This is a DVD because it has over 24 hours of video on one DVD. But I want you to see what this one looks like. So I'm inserting the DVD now and my little auto run box will probably pop up again but that's okay okay I'm gonna be quiet again so you can hear and see what's going on there you go splash screen that faded away into the pages of the project now this one is a little bit different um, this one has some really exciting kind of cool stuff going on here. Um, this is a series of videos as I told you and over here on the right hand side you see a description of what's going on. Over on the left hand side are all the videos that you can click on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to the resources page first because I want you to see kind of what's going on here. On the resources page we have all of the PDFs that are available in this particular DVD and you'll notice as I scroll over the the title over here on the left hand side the the big tooltip appears on the right hand side that gives you a little bit of a description of that particular PDF what's contained in it what it'll do for you how you can work with it that kind of thing that's the resources page now we're not on the first page anymore so how do we get back to where we were very simply scroll down to the home button and here we are back at the home page again. All of these links at the bottom of the page will send you to the same pages as these links up here. But once you leave this page, you can't come back. So they're all created down here. Anyway, let's look at the disclaimer because this is very important. This disclaimer shows at the beginning of each of these videos because this is a regulated topic. This is regulated by the SEC and you want to make sure that you don't disobey any of their rules or you know do something against their policies. So I put the disclaimer here on purpose even though it appears at the beginning of each video so people would know this is not my recommendation for exactly what to do. On the bonuses page you have several 
more videos. You have a couple of PDFs and several um, bonus videos. And th these bonus videos are pretty hefty. See this one's like an hour and nine minutes and six seconds and that's just one video. And each one of these when you roll over it as you'll see on the right hand side you see a description of what's actually covered in that topic. So we're going to go back to the home page again and I want to show you what it looks like to look at some of these videos. So we're going to go to the Greeks managing by the numbers. There happens to be just one video on this page but I'm going to click on it and let you see the video start because I want you to see the configuration configuration of it. It's going to actually play in this window. Once you start to trade in stocks and options, you're going to want to know everything possible about what affects the price of an option. Now I need to tell you that all of these videos, every one of these videos in this course was PLR. I did not do anything to these videos except change the beginning and I put my own uh, title page at the beginning of each video and I added my own disclaimer because I wanted it to be very very clear about the disclaimer. Now over on the over here on the right hand side you'll see there's an arrow and what we can do is go to the next video in the series and if I click on next video it's going to take me to the page. However, if we don't want to go from one video to the next inside the program, we can come down here to the bottom and click on any of these links and jump to exactly where we want to be. So that's all there is to this DVD. Once again, there's a minimize and a close button up here at the top. It makes it very convenient for being able to close the video and close the tutorial or whatever you're working with as far as your interactive CD or DVD. So I hope that gives you some information on another one. I have one more to show you, so let me close this one. I'm going to pause the video again and then we will start the next CD. Okay, this CD that I'm going to show you is made primarily from public domain books. And I have not done anything to these books. I have just collected them from the public domain book site that I told you about in Module 2 of CD Profit System. And I have put them together on one CD along with one PLR book and I want you to see what came out of this because it's very interesting and it's so fast to put together I think it took me maybe an hour seriously to create and compile all of these books into one project so I'm inserting the CD and we'll wait just a moment for the little box to come up and then we'll watch it launch I like that little B sound at the end there. That was kind of fun. I forgot about that. I do so many fun things with these CDs that I tend to forget when I go back and look at them what I did, but I, that was fun, that little opening sound. All right, um, all of these book titles up here are all of the books that people can open and actually read inside um, Adobe Acrobat. So. I'm, I'm just going to click on this one. I don't remember if this is the public domain book. Yes, this is a public domain book. It's in Acrobat um, format. So let me scroll down so you can kind of get an idea. Okay, see? The pages have been scanned, as I told you about. And it has a lot of good information in it. This one just happens to be set very large, but you could zoom out and make it a little bit smaller. Anyway, each book does exactly the same thing. Each of these books will open in Acrobat. Now I want to show you something down here. This is neat. You can get Adobe Reader here free. So if you bought this CD and you did not have a way to watch it or listen to it or read it, you could put a link on here for people to get Acrobat Reader free. And if you click on this, you're taken to the page where they can instantly download. Now this is kind of cool. If you click this link, it says Watch Beekeeping Videos. This link will take you to Google where I have pulled up, see this search? This is a beekeeping search of videos and they can click on all of these videos and watch them. This didn't take any time at all. You just enter this in the search box, 
you know your term and then you copy the link of where you're going to send people to watch the videos and there you have it they can just get to that page conveniently here's another cool thing if you want to chat with other beekeeping enthusiasts click here let me show you what this does this takes you to all kinds of beekeeping forums once again this was a search result that I did with beekeeping plus forums see right here and it'll take all these people to places where they can interact with other users of that niche if you give them those two options one to watch videos and one to interact with other beekeeping or niche enthusiasts they are going to be satisfied forever because they're going to be connected to the people that they want to deal with they're going to have all the information they need and you've already done the search for them and they just click and that search is updated all the time because new searches and I mean new results go into the search results so just an idea the third example in showing you what can be done with a CD and or a DV in an interactive mode by the way this was a CD this is a CD and there are one two three four five six seven six thirteen ebooks on here and some of them are pretty hefty with like three hundred or more pages so this is a big hefty CD as far as value goes but there's not that much data on it when you get down to it so I hope that this tour of three different types of CDs and or DVDs being interactive has helped you to get an idea of what can be done on this type of CD and DVD and I hope you enjoyed the video